This is my mom. She's the smartest, most badass, most creative, most talented person that I know. And given the struggles and hard work she's gone through to get to this point in her life, I'm impressed she's not bragging about it all the time. But today, I will. You see, my mom is an immigrant. She grew up in India, the second of four children. And I'd give you something more specific than India, but my Nanaji's job had them moving around so much, she never really spent more than a couple years in any one city. In this briefcase are the last 50 years worth of photos of my family. A whole life lived before I got to know my mom. You know, I actually went to my parents this past weekend to talk with my mom through all of these photos, but uh, something came up. I'll let her actually tell you what happened. So where are you going today? I'm going to see a concert. <laughs> and so you're going to miss seeing your son? I will see him again. How is my mom that much cooler than me? Take a look at this photo. When this photo was taken, my mom was younger than I am now. She had three college degrees, had married my dad, and had one dream in mind, move to America and make a life for herself here. Which she up and did in 1986, despite knowing absolutely no one. You know what, it's the morning, and uh, one thing my mom loves to do every morning is to get her favorite coffee from Starbucks, Grande Soy Mesto. And I think, you know what, I'm gonna go do that today. Could I get a Grande Soy Mista? Grande Soy Mista? Thank you. Thank you, love. Oh, that's hot. Okay, back to the car. My mom, with three college degrees, in math and computer science, by the way, applied for a job at UCLA that was listed for X dollars. She interviewed, she got the job, and when she went in to talk about the offer, they said, hey, we loved it, but we're gonna give you 75% of X. And she looked them in the eye and said, no, that's less than what you offered me, and walked out. She told my dad when she came home that night with a smile on her face, and he was like, what the f We're immigrants. We don't get to do that in this country. The next day, they called her, and they said, you were right, you deserve X gonna give you X dollars. See, at that job, my mom was using neural networks 30 years before they were a tech buzzword. And she was using them to help identify cancer in women. I most recently used neural networks to put John Cho's face on white people. So I guess, like mother, like son? After UCLA, my mom worked at a company called Redix, where she worked on one of the world's first email clients. But she started to get really antsy. So in 1991, she founded Amber Computer Solutions. My mom was an immigrant female tech founder in 1991. If you went to a vet in the 90s, there was a high chance your veterinarian was using my mom's software to optimize their system. Uh, of course, with my mom's success, my dad tagged along for the ride. Oh. I found it. So beyond all of this badassery, my mom was creative as f She was doodling in her free time, and this is what she called a doodle, by the way. And I think that's why Amber's products sold so well. My mom was an artist and a designer before we really had terms for that in the computer science world. So she made her products for Amber super intuitive and easy to use. Oh crap, I gotta go to work. Don't worry, I'm not driving yet. First, I feel like I should address the fact that I have changed shirts. Uh, we have a shoot at work today, and I wanted to make sure I could wear something I don't really care all that much about. My mom was incredibly supportive of my creative side. And if you know anything about the Asian American immigrant experience, you know that they're vehemently opposed to their kids pursuing creative opportunities. But my mom, with her reservations, understood it. When I dropped physics in high school as a child of two engineers to take drama, my mom understood and supported me. When I went to college to pursue programming, my mom told me not to forget the creative side that got me there. And when I took time off from college to go pursue this passion of mine, my mom understood that this is what I wanted to do. And you know, I've never really asked her why she's so supportive. So why don't we go do that? 
So, Mama, why were you so supportive of me? When I was young, I enjoyed these things and I found what satisfaction it gave me. Instead of following the creative path of acting and drawing and other things, I chose the technology path. Then I kept waiting to be creative again. And now I am creative, but I felt that I had regrets and I didn't want that for you. I wanted you to enjoy every moment of your life. Thank you for everything. Really, I say Happy Mother's Day, but... Every day for you is Mother's Day. Oh, thank you, Abby. Mama will make it in America. Mama will make it in America. Yeah, Mama will make it in America. I swear, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, after this entire video, I really haven't address the fact that my mom is a queen on stage. She loves to act. When I did my short stint at BuzzFeed and there was a casting call for South Asian moms, you bet your ass I cast my mom. You Before got marinade on my phone. <laughs> I have to fix the chicken while she's gone to the bathroom. Thank you so much for watching that video. I really, really want to thank uh, Ruby Ibarra and Timo Chen for letting me use their music for this. Happy Asian American Pacific Heritage Month. Happy Mother's Day. Uh, I hope you like this. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I, this is going to mean the world to my mom.